or mockery to Igbos. Your race is the pride of black Africa. Don't beg because of coronavirus lockdown. The author of one of the best-selling nuggets on international bookshops, Reno Omokri, has called on Igbos to be careful to avoid losing their ancient values in the name of arms begging. The former media eyed aide to Good Luck Jonathan, who shared on his official Facebook page on Thursday late evening, noted that the people of the southeast region are known as the pride of black Africa. Omokri advised the young offspring to go back to history, consult the elders to confirm that Igbos are publicly disciplined when cited begging from an outsider, noting that it has never been part of the Igbo culture. He noted that the present situation of coronavirus lockdown may be tough, but should not be a reason to lose the ancient values doing for adding that the, the civil war between Nigeria and Biafra in 1967 to 1970. Igbo's return broke, but was surprised they could not resort to begging. Narrating further, the founder of the multi-project called Build Up Nigeria said the forefathers resorted to trading to work the to trading to work their way out of inflicted poverty, melted against them during the war, and in turn, the reason quote Inewi has the highest number of millionaires per square mile in Africa today. That's actually really interesting information. This is coming barely a week that Reno Omokri, who is a pastor and a lawyer, recently dispersed 1.5 million naira through his social pages to Nigerians. According to him, 500,000 naira was volunteered by Apostle John Suleiman of the Omega Power Ministry and 1 million naira from his accounts disbursed to his and Suleiman's social media followers. This is the official tweet, um, the official statement that Reno Omokri said. He says, if you are from the Southeast, I urge you to ask your leaders about this. Igbos used to beat fellow Igbos who begged. Begging is never a part of Igbo culture. Don't allow conditions make you lose ancient virtues that made your race the pride of black Africa. The quote, the coronavirus lockdown condition is not enough to make you beg. After the Nigerian civil war in 1970, when the Igbos returned to Lagos, Portakot, Kaduna and other parts of Nigeria, they were poor and broken. But what shocked the world was that they did not beg. Instead, they used their ancient principles to trade and work their way out of poverty. That is why today Inewi has the highest number of millionaires per square mile in Africa. Wow, that's really interesting information. Um, I think it maybe has to do with the pride of Igbo people thinking that you know they have the qualities and the skills to be able to work and make their money so they don't feel like they will be insulted by stooping low from that standard and start begging. And that's why he said that Igbo people would beat each other or beat other Igbo people when they find them begging because it's not just in their nature to do that. So guys, what do you think? Please put your comments in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.